Welcome everybody. Today we're going to show you the best settings to optimize your NVIDIA graphics card for esports titles. Let's get right into it. All right, so step one is open up your browser, Google GeForce Experience. Once that's come up, download it, install it. Once that's installed, open it up, select the drivers tab, check for updates for your latest driver, and download that one. Once it's downloaded, you have the option to install it. Click install. And once that's done, you have the latest NVIDIA drivers. That's step one. Once that's all installed, right click on your desktop. Click on the NVIDIA control panel. I'm going to go through a few settings here. Starting with the manage 3D settings. In this first uh, list here, we're going to go through and select a few of the options here. Number one. Head to DSR factors, click on that one and uncheck everything you see in this list that will cause it to turn off. What this will do is only show your native resolution in game and won't give you the option to upscale anything, but this is all right. This is what you want. Next option is low latency mode. Hit the drop down list. Usually it's off, select ultra. And the last option here is under power management mode. This is normally set to normal. Hit the drop down list and click on prefer maximum performance. Hit the apply button if you see it down here and we'll go to the next step. All right, so the next step is gonna be under display. Select change resolution. Here you wanna select your primary monitor. Under resolution, under PC, select your native resolution. For me, I've got 1920 by 1080. Now, on the right hand side, this is important. Hit the drop down list and find the highest refresh rate that your monitor supports. Select that. Hit apply. And say yes. Now, if your monitor has a G Sync module or is G Sync compatible, you'll see the setup G Sync option on the left. Click that one. You want to select your primary monitor. Now, enable. G-Sync and G-Sync compatible, hit that checkbox and make sure you turn on enable windowed and full screen mode. This will let G-Sync operate uh, when you've got something running in windowed mode or in full screen. Full screen is always better. Then if you have an apply button down the bottom, hit apply, hit OK. Now onto the games. All right, now we're in Valorant. Let's open up options, hit escape, head to video, head to general. And the first option here, Full screen, make sure you're running in full screen mode. Then resolution, select your native resolution with your, make sure your refresh rate is showing here. I run the 240 Hz monitor, so I can run at 240 Hz refresh rate. Make sure you've got the select, uh, the correct monitor selected here and fill, not letterbox. Now you can uh, pick what settings you want here, whether you want your FPS limited, that doesn't really matter. In game is where it counts. Now this is the important part. Turn on always limit FPS. Then under maximum FPS always, always give yourself 10 more FPS than what your refresh rate, your maximum refresh rate is. So my refresh rate is 240 Hertz. I give a headroom, a buffer of 10 more FPS. So if you're running a 60 Hertz monitor, limit it to 70 FPS. If you're running, uh, you know, a 300 Hertz monitor, give yourself 310 FPS. Now, under here, again, as an NVIDIA exclusive feature, <clears throat> NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency Mode, select this, turn it on plus boost. The boost function, what that will do is always keep your clock speeds at its highest peak and never drop. So your performance is always at its maximum. All right, under graphics quality, this is where you want to play around with a mix of medium, low, high settings. So you can hit your FPS cap that you set in the previous screen to match your refresh rate of your monitor. So you want to be able to be hitting consistently 60 FPS, uh, 120 FPS, 240 FPS, 300 FPS, depending on your cap that you set on the previous screen. I'm running a 3090, so I can run everything on high settings uh, and still hit 
the 250 FPS cap that I've set for myself that matches the refresh rate of my monitor. Now, if you do not have a G-Sync compatible monitor, then you're probably running a 60 Hertz monitor or 75, depending on what you have. Make sure you turn on V-Sync. That will help with screen tearing. Everyone else who has G-Sync compatible monitors or a G-Sync module, <clears throat> turn that one off. You don't need it. Stats wise, up to you what you want to display. I just keep on show my FPS and show my render latency between my CPU and GPU and then show my ping. And uh, that's all the settings for Valorant. And there you have it guys. I hope this video helped you. If it did, give us a thumbs up down below. If there are any tips and tricks that you have that I missed or didn't cover, put them in the comments section down below. I'd love to read them. We also stream live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash siliconart. We play a lot of esports titles like Valorant, Apex, Overwatch, as well as many other titles. Um, hit subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more awesome videos like this one. See ya.